Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us tonight. Now, please welcome to the Millennium Stage, the trombonists of the Kennedy Center.
Thank you very much. Just move this over here. Good evening. Thank you, thank you. Wow, there are a lot of people here. Uh, so we are the uh, trombonists of the Kennedy Center, uh, and we come from the two orchestras here, the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra and the National Symphony Orchestra. And uh, we thought it would be fun to uh, join forces and uh, bring you a concert of trombone chamber music this evening. So that first piece was the overture from Music for the Royal Fireworks by Handel. And it was written to accompany the fireworks at a big political celebration in Great Britain. And uh, it was originally written for 60 musicians, uh, none of which were trombone players. Uh, so, uh, but we love the piece so much that we thought we'd bring it inside. We wanted to bring the fireworks too, but maintenance wouldn't sign off on that for some reason. But, um, uh, so uh, while we're in the mood for uh, commemorative music, uh, our next piece for you is by Brahms. It is called Fest und Gedenksprüche, which means festival and con commemorative music. Uh, Brahms wrote it when the city of Hamburg, Germany, uh, honored him as a valued citizen. It's originally for uh, two choirs of voices uh, and no instruments, but uh, we think it fits quite well for the trombone, and I hope you do too.
Thank you very much. So um, those of you who haven't been to a trombone concert before might be looking up here wondering, what are the different types of trombones here? Because you see mine is a different size and shape than some of the others. Well, I'll tell you, there are three. Uh, I'll start with the lowest. Uh, the bass trombones, there are two on stage, right over here. They play the lowest notes, and they are the anchor of the ensemble. Uh, the tenor trombones, most of us on stage play tenor. If you guys can hold those up. Those play higher notes. This is an alta trombone, uh, and it is the smallest. Um, it isn't uh, regularly played. Uh, it's usually played in um, uh, pieces by Mozart and Schubert. And so um, when, uh, when pieces like that come around in our orchestras, uh, it's usually a tenor trombone player that plays it. Uh, so our next piece for you is called uh, Scherzo Funebre, which literally means funeral joke. <laughs> um, of our many wonderful facets, uh, we, uh, two of them are that we uh, are funny, not just as comedians, but our instruments often uh, lend themselves to comedic moments. Uh, and also, composers give us the, uh, the big and dark foreboding stuff. Uh, and so the composer, Derek Bourgeois, uh, meshed the two uh, into this next piece. And uh, we hope you enjoy.
All right, so we can play jokingly, we can play really depressing, but we can also play really, really beautifully. Um, <clears throat> our next piece is uh, the Etude for Low Brass in the style of Anton Bruckner. And uh, Bruckner uh, was a composer whose music uh, we find very satisfying both to play and to listen to. Uh, the harmonies are really breathtaking. The, the whole thing brings you into another world. And um, Unfortunately, Bruckner never wrote chamber music for the trombones, uh, but a prominent trombonist in Europe did, uh, uh, Enrique Crespo. And this etude has become one of our most beloved uh, chamber pieces. And uh, we hope you like it as much as we do.
All right. Uh, we have one more for you, but uh, before we play it, I just wanted to take a moment and uh, tell you about what we do here. <laughs> um, so we, uh, we form the trombone sections of the two orchestras, like I said. Uh, in the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra, I play along with Steve and Lee. And um, <clears throat> we uh, play, we're a pit orchestra. We play for the Washington National Opera. We play for touring ballet companies and touring musical theater productions. And uh, our orchestra works very hard to provide uh, the music for the people on stage. So uh, when you come and uh, cry in a Puccini opera or you're you know, dazzled by the Nutcracker, uh, there's more than what you see on stage. And uh, it's, it's a delight to bring that to you. Um, and so the other orchestra is the National Symphony. And we have four trombonists. We're, we have Matt, bass trombone. We have Dave, Barry, and Craig. And um, the, for those of you who haven't been to a, a symphony orchestra concert, uh, the orchestra is the focus. They're on stage. They're above ground, so to speak. Um, and they bring you, uh, like for example tonight, uh, the, the big epic Shostakovich symphonies and the, the grand sweeping Rachmaninoff piano concertos. Um, so uh, if you're going to stick around tonight, uh, that's definitely something to check out. <laughs> um, so if you're doing the math in your head, three, four, that's seven. Okay, we have two more on stage. Uh, I want to introduce first uh, Peter Ellison here. Um, Peter is a longtime friend of uh, most, if not all of us on stage here. Uh, and um, I actually go back to the year 2004 with him. I started taking lessons with Peter. And while I was at school at Northwestern, uh, he joined the faculty. So big connection there. Uh, and then uh, we have Chris Brannigan conducting us, and uh, Chris is uh, a big driving force uh, for a lot of musical, many musical endeavors in the D.C. metro area, uh, many of them through his position at the U U.S. Army Band, <laughs> the U.S. Army Band. Um, so uh, we really appreciate them being here this evening with us, um, and uh, we appreciate you being here. Uh, whether this is your first time here or your hundredth time, uh, we hope we've given you a reason to come back. There's something for everybody. There's something every night, all different art forms. Please come back and see us. Uh, so without further ado, here is our final uh, trombone octet, three movements by Gordon Jacob.